how to use SendGrid to send emails. Hi guys, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can send the emails all on automation using SendGrid. Firstly, come on to SendGrid.com and then after that, click on start for free from over here. And once you click on start from free, that is gonna take you over to your sign up page. Wait for a couple of seconds while this loads up. And now from over here, put in your email address, your password, and then simply accept your terms and services. And then after that, I'm gonna catch you guys in just a second. So after you've signed up successfully from over here, you will be able to see this dashboard in front of you. So over here, you have a couple of features in front of you. From the left side, you have all these features, but all of these features are faded right now because I have to upgrade my membership if I want to like, you know, attain all of these features. So simply click on create a single sender. Now, once you click on that, that is gonna take you over to the sender authentication page. Now from over there, you can basically create senders and you can like, you know, have as many senders as you want. So how does it work? Let's say you have multiple emails and you want every single email to do a specific task. Like for example, I can have the main email send like, you know, updates about different things. I can have the second email, you know, like send updates about technical stuff. I can have the third email send updates about like, you know, some more stuff. So like essentially that is the idea. So now from over here, I can simply like just put in my name. And then after that, I can simply put in an email address over here. And then simply I can like also put in the email address that I am replying to. And then after that, the company address, the city, the state, the zip code. And after that, once I have like, you know, completed everything, I can simply click on create and then my sender is going to be created. So I'm going to simply like, you know, try to like do that. So once I put in a dummy email, I can like, you know, basically have this particular email in front of me. So now from over here, I can like simply put in another email address. So I'm going to simply like, you know, put that in over here. So after that, now I want you to just simply put in your country, your state and everything. So I'm going to simply check my country from over here. So like from over here, that's that. I'm going to like, you know, choose my country once again. And then now I'm going to click on create. So once I click on create, I have to also put in a name as well. So I'm going to put in Johnny Doe. And once I put in Johnny Doe, I can click on create and this sender is going to be created. So from over here, I can basically see that this sender has been created. Now from the left side, we have different marketing tools like basically automation. We have some more options as well. We're going to go in depth in them as well. So like just bear with me. Sometimes this website gets a bit slow. So now from over here, you can basically create automation. Now by creating automation, what do we mean? By creating automation, what we mean is that you can like, you know, create recurring emails. So basically what happens is that your clients are going to be getting emails on repeat at the end of every single month, basically about like, you know, different stuff, different updates, everything that happened a particular month and stuff like that. So like after that, now what I want you to do is click on create an automation. And then from over here, you can basically create an automation from a pre-built template or from a custom one. So like, I'm not going to do that right now. It is very, very simple. So from the left side, you can even add contacts as well. So like that way you don't have to like, you know, basically create a new contact every single time you want to add a new contact. So from the left side, you can even add design library. So like you can basically add an email designs as well. You have send grid email designs as well. So like basically all of these are templates which you can use for your emails. And then you can basically like upload images and stuff as well. So like that is going to really, really elevate the whole theme of your emails. And then like once you have a lot of emails going out, a lot of people, you can also view your stats from the left side. So like what happens is that let's say you have like a million people where your emails are going to. Well, you can't basically keep track of all those million emails. So what happens is that so what you do is you basically take a look at all of these statistics and you can basically like, you know, view how many people are actually clicking on your link and how many people are actually going through with your emails. So now what I want you to do is that I want you to take a look at the expert insights, the global stats, the category stats, the category comparison, the sub user stats, and also the sub user comparisons as well. So like there are just so many options. So now from the left side, I want you to scroll down and click on activity. So like once you click on activity, you will be able to see all the email activity, basically like how many emails are going in. And if you want to find a 
particular email like for example you want to find an email where you sent a specific update to an email address you can actually find that as well from like all the thousands and thousands of emails that you must have over here then you have suppressions so like basically from over here you can basically track how many people have actually unsubscribed your emails what was the reason how many people have reported your emails as spam blocks invalid or like you know different stuff which you can do using an inbox manager so like these are basically like all of the features now from the left side make sure to like you know take a good look at the marketing section as well because like over here you have a lot of options that can really make your job a whole lot easy now i'm going to show you their email api so like their email api is basically the programming side of things so what happens is that you can actually like you know design custom programs that send emails to like specific people in your team so like let's say you don't want to like you know send out emails to like thousands and thousands of people like all at once you want to send out emails to like just your team with the click of one button well then you can simply design apis that you can use every now and then using a code editor so like all in all this is basically the job of a programmer so i'm not gonna go really really in detail but i'm simply gonna like you know click on this over here and then you can simply name your template and then after that you can simply create this and then you can basically like you know modify this add different versions and like there are just so many options so like coming back to the dashboard we will be able to see the main dashboard in front of us so like those were all the features that SendGrid is basically giving you but right now i'm on a free trial so now i'm gonna show you all their pricing and plans as well so like if we come on to their pricing and plans we can see that they have four different plans so the first plan is basically their free plan in the free plan you will get apis smtp relay webhooks, delivery, dynamic template editor, insights, analytics, ticket support, but you will get no access to email validation, no access to dedicated IPs, no sub user management and also like you know not a whole lot of features but like if you take a look at the essentials well this is basically for like you know a hundred thousand emails so like for a hundred thousand emails they're gonna charge you 29 dollars and obviously for less emails they're gonna charge you less now the only feature that you will get more is basically guaranteed response times on ticket and chat support so like that is a must because when you have such a big big audience you need to have people who you can talk to if you run into any problems whatsoever so after that from the right side we have their pro version so like their pro version is basically for like you know 1.5 million people so like that is a lot of people now like unless you have a big fashion brand or like a big tech company you will most probably not be using this particular plan but like i wanted to mention this anyway so that you guys know everything about SendGrid. now after that you can even see some additional email validation stuff as well so like we have 2500 email validations dedicated ips as well sub user management too so like a lot of good features now similarly we have have the fourth plan which is for like you know the biggest companies to basically like you know have like basically millions and like tens of millions of people so like that is for enterprise people so like definitely a very very nice way to like actually get started with your big company emailing and stuff like that so from over here you can basically see a different version of all the features basically in a different layout so like honestly this is very very nice and you can honestly get started asap if you were to like do it so like that is basically sendgear.com guys if i missed anything let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any questions also let me know in the comments down below so guys till next time goodbye